going to get off home now. Meet me pal Paul. Sorry about that. I've just had to change uh, battery. Go uh, meet me pal Paul and get some frames of snooker down me. And I can slip these in middle of filming I've done today, can't I? So it's all been good today. Richard Towers interview. Well, long, but it was good. Uh, and he's done well to come out of that a dark period in his life. Uh, different sort of interview with Josh, it's more, Josh is already there and he's a British champion, he's in a, you know, he's been world ranked IBF number, I don't know, 10 or 12 or something. Uh, so, he's fought for a European title, got robbed, he's now in an IBO international fight with a kid 27 and 1. So, good luck to... Josh Whale, that's what I say. Good luck to him. 6.51. So I should have been meeting Paul at 7 p.m. So I've got to go on, get me killed, and I've got to drive five miles, is it? Five and a half? How far is that from there? So, and, uh, and then I think I'm going to go sink a few. It's all good positive stuff. I might change my shirt. I might not though. I might just go out and be a sweaty betty. What do you reckon Spencer feeling? Do I still smell the milk? Hey? I've got biggest after aftershave collection in Doncaster. Do I smell the milk? <laughs> That's social media for you Spencer. Isn't it? I'll have to gear a, have to gear a whack into the ribs for that one Spencer when we, do, when we do a battle. Personally I don't think it'll happen but who knows. But I'm up for it. It's for charity, isn't it? It's for charity. Let's have a look. 410 mile I've done at an average of 35.3 miles a gallon. So you can't get no miles in town, can you? How can you get mileage in driving around town centres and villages? I get on motorway, I get that up to 55. But it's all looking good for tonight. You give Paul a fresh in, sink a few beers, and uh, I'm gonna uh, do all uploading tomorrow. Training in the morning. I've got to knock this weight off. I've got to take it serious. I can't show Dennis up and Mick Whale. Richard Towers, Fuki, Glyn Rhodes, can't show all them boys up, can I? I think what I'm going to do, you know, I'm going to take my camera, I'm going to do a session. I'm going to do a session. Woo! Back end kicking out there. I'm going to do a session. If I go every day and do a session at all these gyms, where all these trainers are, I can do a bit of filming there as well, can't I? What do you reckon? Yes, I think I'll do that. It's a bit like the man from Del Monte, isn't it? The man from Del Monte, he says yes. It's a bit like the, the, men, the men at uh, Austin, uh, Austin Allegro, isn't it? The, uh, they all sat around a table, they had a meeting and they said, you know what, we're going to give the Austin Allegro Van Den Pla 2.3, we're going to give it a square steering wheel. Have I got have I, have I got anybody that seconded that? And they all sat there and they went, you know what? Yes, square. And they all put their hands up, didn't they? Yes, square. A square steering wheel. That's the way forward, isn't it? A square steering wheel. And I think the way forward for me is doing some training, isn't it? What do you reckon? Pushing 50 year olds. Got a bit of training, eh? Dave Allen there, walking to the train station, looking smart in his Vivian Westwood shirt. Go on, Dave, fly, fly for uh, for all boxers in the area. Good move by Dave Allen, that though, innit? Tell you what, 
we'll knock all this money back for fighting Dubois and we'll let Chisora fight him <laughs> so Chisora's fighting somebody that Dave got offered to fight but the difference being Chisora gets 800 grand and the last pay-per-view for it whereas Dave Allen were asking for whatever they were asking for it's none of my business but it wouldn't have been pay-per-view so because the amount of money that Chisora were asking for there's no way on this earth that Frank can pull that off no way on this earth he can pull that off but let me tell you this Daniel Dubois is in a real fight but his style is tailor-made to beat Dubois he's got the reach he's got the height You were alright. But uh, it is what it is, isn't it? It is what it is. Look at that, I always end up behind. I always end up behind some bit of traffic lights, don't I? Unbelievable. Should we boot it up Clifton Hill? What do you reckon? We boot it all the way up hill. Hey? Come on. Look. Well, not looking good, is it? Whoopsie days, whoopsie daisy. Are we ready? Are we ready? Let's go. Is he up my ass in here? stuck behind one. I always get stuck behind one, don't I? There's always one, isn't there? There's always one, isn't there? It's never a Fiesta driver though with me, it's usually a Volvo. It's usually a Volvo. I usually got a caravan. I don't know, what can you do? Whoopsie daisy. Get in your lane, man. Oof, God, it's fast as car. Oh! <laughs> oh, my God. See on your travels and uh travels in a Are you behind us? <laughs> Put kids on. <laughs> Where you been? Where have you been? See what? Adam's family, any good? Any good? I want to be scared. No. I didn't like the scary, but it's fine. It's like the nice thing. Alright, see you in a bit then. See you on Monday. Alright then. Peace out, keep on trucking, keep supporting boxing. It's a fantastic sport. And uh, I'm going to go get my cue now. 
and I'm going back out because Friday is Porky Tar.